Ooh, all right guys today is definitely bittersweet i'm actually going to be trading in the f8 for a new car I actually never revealed this car to you guys i never showed him right no you didn't yeah i'm going to be trading in the f8 plus the 458 for a um should i tell him just a little hint little hint all right it starts with a p and that's all i can say that's all i can say we're going to bring it actually to a shop right now and bring the car back to stock because i do want to keep the modifications that we had on it like the uh wheels and the loading exhaust and everything but man, this car was crazy to own. Definitely a head turner, really, really fun. But the next car is definitely exciting as well. But we're gonna head to the shop. Definitely a uh, sad, but good day. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh. All right guys, so we just got to a German auto house here in Woodville, Washington. We are dropping off the F8. Should be done in about a week. They're gonna be bringing it back to stock. Let me know if you guys want me to keep you guys updated with the whole uh, next car and everything. Like I said, it doesn't feel like supernatural for me to like showcase all my purchases and whatnot. I don't know. But if you guys want me to talk about the next car, let me know. I'll show you guys what it is in the reveal. I'm not going to lie. The 458 is actually kind of harder to let go than the F8. Because uh, that like actually means it, it's yeah. sentimental. But uh, something you guys, just, you know, bygones be bygones several days later all right guys so it's been a few days uh since we dropped off the f8 uh i just brought my 458 actually so i'm gonna be trading in both of these cars um i mean it's official now gotta take off the badge all right no longer my cars Huge shout out to a uh, German auto house. If you guys are in the Seattle area, make sure you guys check them out. Really, really great work. Like literally they've been uh, killing it as far as uh, putting this back to stock. So huge shout out to them. Yeah, man. Gabe, you think I'm going to regret this? No, there's no chance. I actually no, don't think I'm going to regret it. Like to me, <laughs> driving the 458 here, I was like, it's cool, but I'd rather just, you know, I don't have all the storage in the world. Yeah. So literally uh, just one car and I'll be good to go. It's better if you can uh, just put all your love into one. Love in one. It almost felt like I had like a whole Brady Bunch and like each car needed a little bit of love and affection. I just couldn't, I didn't have that at all with me. You know what I mean? Goodbye F8. Goodbye 458. What's going on everybody? We are going to be unboxing a very special package today. This one comes from Street Market Supply. A few months ago, I actually flew out and helped them out with this collection. So apparently these are the final products. If you guys aren't familiar with this brand, they are the best bootleg vintage brand out there right now. I've been working with them for a couple of years and they have grown tremendously. Definitely really proud of those guys over at Street Market Supply. But yeah, let's get this box open and see what they have sent. Thank you so much for the support. Please enjoy some of these pieces from our upcoming drop they are going to be releasing march 3rd 9 a.m pacific time sharp this is a limited pre-order meaning everything does have the potential to sell out all right so what do we got okay this is great shout out street market supply they actually took my advice with this one this was one of the items i was most excited about right here the long sleeve big head tees oh my goodness the Travis Scott looks crazy, like a little borderline a little spooky right here. Oh my God. I think this might be the first time they are doing a long sleeve. We got Welcome to the Rodeo on the back, real clean font as well. This is pretty fire. Not too loud. They even added the flames to the sleeves right here. Quality of the t-shirt is really, really nice and heavy. So this is a size medium. This looks to be like the size I would actually rock. This is clean. Let's see what else they sent over. All right, so we got a, oh. A young thug one right here. The actual image is crazy. Really, really clean. Really nice glow to the graphic. Nice little signature. Okay, they got a free thug in the back. Kind of like in more of a classy font, you know what I mean? Probably, I would actually say, my favorite items I've seen from Street Market Supply. They, they sent over a lot of things over here. We're just going to go in random order. So we got, whoa, faded LV print. So if you guys don't know, just as much as they're known for their bootleg tees, they're also known for their bootleg mesh shorts as well. We got a faded LV monogram print. Their signature is kind of the flames and everything. So we got the signature LV flame 
uh, monogram faded. The white pair is actually pretty crazy as well. This is pretty exciting for me because after I leave the meetings with them, I don't know exactly what they're going to drop or anything. I just kind of consult for the brand and just give my input and whatnot. And to see what they actually finalize is actually really cool. I really like this one right here. Really great for the spring. Uh, we got a white LV monogram faded as well. I don't need to unbox these but I know they're Gucci monogram shorts that say SS. These fly off of the shelves. And like I said, guys, it is a limited pre-order. So keep that in mind. The brown, olive. And then we also got almost to be looks like a slate blue, which is really dope. What else we got? What else we got? They came out with the Jack Harlow tee. I know a lot of people have been asking them for Jack Harlow. Let me see what they did. You know, you got to do Jack Harlow right. Whoa. Okay, the back part is crazy. So when it comes to their vintage tees, a lot of people know them for like the best images, the cracking, the fading, just the attention to detail is really, really nice. You can see right here, they put Jack with a bunch of people in the industry. We got Drake, you got Lil Wayne, you got, okay, DJ Drama, who he was signed to. Oh, you got uh, Dua Lipa, you got Tyler Hero. That's a pretty cool detail. You got the front right here, really fun. I think a lot of people are gonna like this Jack Harlow tee right here. The colors do really, really pop. What else we got? They did a Nipsey tee. I was actually just listening to Nipsey on the way here. One of one, one of one, that song, one of one. They killed this one right here. You got the palm tree leaf. Nipsey, man, RIP Nipsey, man. Yeah, they absolutely killed the two vintage tees right here. Jack Harlow and Nipsey, what else we got? Oh! They did a Drake long sleeve as well. Oh my good, this one is gonna go crazy. You know what I like about it? It's a side profile of Drake, not like a blatant face of Drake. Uh, you got the signature right here. Oh, they did the uh, Love You Forever, like the Air Force Ones. I can see myself rocking the long sleeves pretty often actually, cause they're just a little bit more subtle. Yeah, those are pretty fire. All right, what are these? Last three items. Okay, so I recommended them do something like the mesh shorts, but with a flame, and they actually put it on a nylon material, which really, really went crazy. And the nylon material is actually really, really high quality, has a lining on the inside. This is really dope because I feel like these shorts are a little bit more complimentary to like a shirt like this. You could rock this whole thing together. You got the double stitching flame. What else? Okay, so they got a black and red color, and then they got this... This color right here is pretty fire. Boom. That's pretty dope. Quality is immaculate on these nylon shorts as well. Damn, that is insane. Is this the drop, the entire drop? Literally all items March 3rd. That is a huge drop. All right, guys. Uh, Yeah, these will all be dropping March 3rd. Huge shout out to Street Market Supply. I know we just were all over the place with the items, but I kind of wanted to give you a taste of every single one. Like I said, guys, these guys are killing it right now. It's been a pleasure working with them. They are absolutely just growing like crazy and just really built up a really loyal following. So make sure you guys give them a follow. Check out their Instagram. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, Let me see if I... All right, they also offer, I, I didn't even see this at the bottom, Richie 10 will get you guys 10% off your entire order. That is dope. Uh, I did not think they were going to do that. So Richie 10 during checkout will get you guys 10% off all of these items. That is really cool. That's pretty much it. Links will be down below to their website and their Instagram. Woo, it's pretty hot in here. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Yo, this Richie. boy been talking about overalls for the past three years and he's finally Boy. rocking them all aboard the chip <laughs> these overalls these overalls are for the ladies let's Sammy. get straight into Sammy the Corley. outfit of the day then if that's what we're gonna do okay let's what do you just, got going on man go real quick man, i got know, man. Did you? Let <laughs> know, man. so we got the uh you know just a little beanie i caught from Nordstrom rack and then just you know the frames as usual richly collection uh, beanie. hoodie good shape, uh good pinstripe overalls from carhartt man i and love then, um, uh beanie. this print Thank print, you, you know, Thank I've you. always liked this type of print. You know, I'm not gonna lie, when you always brought up the overalls, yeah. I'm thinking like Hank and Hank, you know, like more like pitchfork type vibes. This you know, is, I had to is... put a lot of thought into it so mm. it didn't look like Hanky Dank pitchfork vibes. You know, yeah. I'm surprised that look, you wore a shirt under it. I, you seem like you would not wear a shirt. Under I'm going to he later. He said he was gonna not wear a shirt underneath. Yeah. A few moments later. I just wanna rock, 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 rock. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
All right, so for myself, uh, for the top, I got a Olive Unstructured Angel Snapback. We're gonna be releasing these, uh, I think sometime in the spring, early summer, a lot of people have been asking about them. Uh, four different colors. And then for the long sleeve, we got a Street Market Supply. Love you forever, Drake. Long sleeve right here Fire. with the flames on the uh, sleeves. Thank you, Johnny. And then uh, for the cargos, we got some ROC samples right here. Definitely been really, really digging these cargos right here. Uh, we got a char- <laughs> Why are you looking like that, bro? I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. And then I got a uh, flip-flop sneaker. I actually used to hate this sneaker. I put them up as my, I think, worst sneaker. Yeah, right? Yeah, big regret, big regret. Ended up uh, flip-flopping on these, man. Like them. They're just so easy to rock. Does it really make you want to get the black pair back? I was gonna say, those are clean. Clean. I like this pair more than the black pair. Wow. Recently, right? I uh, never thought I would hear you say that. Yeah. I'm really feeling the long sleeve, though, with the uh, text on the back and everything. I never thought I'd be rocking an entire Drake t shirt with a big head on it. But, uh, boy. Woo, so we got Lena in the building. Been a while since we've seen you. What do you got on right I've now? Looking living, real casual. Looking I've been real casual. Out of a suitcase. Out of a suitcase. Pretty much. I mean, I've been traveling for months on end now, so you kind of stick to like the basics that you could just always wear over and over, okay. like to like work me. Meetings, to meet with you guys, nice. to be on camera, you put to together go something pretty store. solid. All right, what, what we got from the top? I so, just have... You gotta start with the hair though. Hair looking saucy. Saucy, like saucy is good, saucy, right? Yeah, very saucy. I was really self conscious about it because it's not as silver as usual. Mm. Um, because I'm trying to like maintain it again. It got a little unhealthy. So there's that. Just got my brows redone. Ooh. Like dark. ABG vibes, ABG vibes. You know, some days I just gotta bust it out. You know? Yeah, I know, uh, I know. I get it. I get it. I get it. Basic tank top. I always have to have like my eight basic tank tops. I wear nice, over and nice. over for months. Summer vibes. I got this at Marshalls. <laughs> And it's giving me like Big Boy Johnny vibes. Little, little like, funky, huh? Yeah, I like it though. All right, so what do we got on the bottom right here? What are those, uh, Dockers? I like these. They're from H&M. Okay. And I, I want to say I probably got them hemmed just because nice, I'm usually nice. a little short. And then I just got the waist taken in for like a more like clean look, like dope, a perfect dope. fit. Yeah, and I see can I show you my shoes? Yeah. I haven't bust these out in a long time. Reimagine. Oh, Reimagine. true blues. Reimagine. Look at the coordination between the tank top and the sneakers right there. My options are wow. Really pretty good. You look like a uh, uh, Washington Wizards mascot back in the day when MJ used to play with them. You I know? don't know like... how I feel about this compliment. Yeah, right off the back, man, I pulled out something I haven't even had a chance to wear yet. I got this like a year ago. It's a PlayStation promo for a game that you guys PlayStation. probably you know, haven't we heard. Team Xbox. Y'all never oh, heard no. of this game. Crash Bandicoot. Never mind. I would have to say, this is stuff. probably the best outfit I've ever seen you wear. Like, I, I would actually mimic this outfit. This is a great I get beat up in the comments a lot for the for the outfits I be wearing, so. Oh, yeah. You look great, you look great. You look great. And that's what we appreciate, you know? All right, you know, this morning had to get the fresh Edgar. <laughs> You're finally. The fresh, what did he say? See, every time we used to call it the Edgar, you said no. Yeah. Look, man, when you get the Edgar, you gotta make sure that they texturize the top and you gotta put on the uh, the powder, powder product powder, to kind of give play. you that volume, powder give play. it that puff. Powder play. The little pink one? The pink one, the red one, all of it. As long as it's white powder, you put it on your head, you're gonna be good. Got on the, one of my favorite truckers that I, I rarely wear, Woo! but the wash is fire. Like slept on, rustic, still, denim jacket we dropped last season. Still a couple season. left on the website. Got a few still left, got a few yeah. left. And when it comes to sweatpants, I've been rocking these champion ones for a long time. I had to switch it up and really rock some premium pleated RLC Sweatpants, as you guys can see, we still Super got a couple sizes those left. Yep. And then, uh, of course, classic mom wear threes. Uh, yo, 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 it's your boy. <laughs> one eight hundred eight eight. Call in right now. We got the boy J T M in the building. What you he just said, what you want to hear? I got them giggling, big boy jiggling. You can see the change on the watch. Yes, jingling. Mm. Uh, and I ain't got them bars, but your boy's rocking big shirts. It's extra large, yeah. yeah. And if we dropping in, it's extra charge, cause you can see it how it's fly. It's yes, extra bar. Yo, 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 that's enough, man. You wanna get signed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One ain't had a call back in right now. We got Amateur a request hour. on line. Amateur hour. We're here to talk about the fit of this shirt. This is a size small. I feel like it, uh, it runs on the bigger end, yeah? Is that, is that what I would say? Slightly, slightly. Slightly bigger that. end. I'm 5'2", wearing a size small. I thought I wore like a medium, but that's what she says. I usually wear the same size. <laughs> yeah. I got them giggling, big boy jiggling. You can see the change on the watch, yes, jingling. Mm. Uh, and I ain't got them bars, but your boy's rocking big shirts. It's extra large, 